God does not choose the qualified, he qualifies the chosen. When There are people who have heard the word of God and died in their sins. There are people who have read the scriptures, even unto many times, who will not enter the kingdom of the Most High. There are those who study it diligently, those who attend church on a regular basis, who sit on committees and offer assistance when required, who will not see heaven. There are good people, honest, caring people who love their families, who will reside in the lake of fire forever. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Throughout the centuries, many have been called, and few have been chosen. There are those who could not read or write, who today are in the presence of the Lamb of God, hid in Christ. There are those that this world despises because they will not join them, who do not seek for the things or the glory that this world offers, who will never be wealthy here will never become fruitful in gaining what those of the world will not cease to chase after. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled, and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. The Almighty qualifies those He has chosen to give to His Son. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. If you have been crucified with Christ, you may not be very smart, as the world terms it, but you can be filled with wisdom. You may not understand the ways of the world very well, but you can have spiritual discernment in the ways of the Holy Spirit. You may not have a heart that can grasp the meaning of all that is occurring today, but you can have one that can discern between good and evil, if you will but ask. You may be temporarily deceived by the lies that are prevalent today, but if you pray the Father to reveal truth to you, He will. If you want to be conformed to the image of His Son, if you want your mind to be transformed, you will be hated by the world and loved by the Father. All you have to do is ask. If He shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you are praying for the whole world to be saved, stop it. That is foolishness. If you are praying for the things of this world, so that you can fulfill the desires of your flesh, quit doing that right now. If you are praying for the pain to cease, you do not understand that thorn in your side was put there by the Almighty. If you are praying for a long, healthy, carefree, content, and happy life, then to die as gain is not a truth to you. God qualifies the chosen when they ask to die to self when they pray that the focus of their life would be that He would be glorified through them, when they realize that they were called and chosen by His grace and through no works of their own accord, when they obey because they love Him. The world says you can have anything you want as long as you obey. The living God says all you must do is believe and ask. If the world hate you, ye you know that it hated me before it hated you. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. But you can do all things through Christ. He is waiting for you to ask, to forsake all for him. And he is waiting to give you all you ask for. If you love him with all your heart, you will be qualified in ways you could never imagine. <laughs>